So hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel, CBSE Courses with Riti. Today we are going to continue with the chapter Chemical Reactions and Equations. This is going to be the part three of this chapter, and today we are going to continue with decomposition reaction only. In the previous session, we learned what is a thermal decomposition reaction basically is. Today we are going to understand the other two types of decomposition reaction. Now let me just give you a short brief. Decomposition reaction means breaking down of one reactant. एक reactant होगा लेकिन उसके product एक दो से ज़्यादा होंगे. The reactant breaks down the reactant breaks down to form number of products. जैसे मैंने एक example कर भी दिया था. H two let's not give H two because H two हम पढ़ेंगे. Let me say Ca CO three breaks down to give us CaO plus CO two. Quick lime or carbon dioxide बनता है from your limestone or you can say calcium carbonate. तो ये जो है वो break down होता है to form these two products. Why? How? With the help of heat. Break down करने के लिए we need heat because जैसे कोई भी chemical bond होता है. This is joined together calcium, carbon and oxygen are joined together with the help of a bond. And when we give heat to the bond, then the bond breaks. मतलब break down करने के लिए we need heat. और अगर यहाँ पे कोई भी reactant नहीं है, only one reactant is there, so we obviously will need heat. Then only it can break down. कोई ना कोई तो chemical reaction होगा ही, वरना उसके आप ही बताइए कैसे होगा? How will a decomposition reaction will occur? Now, let us first talk about photolytic. Photolytic. Photolytic reaction. Photo. If you remember one term, photo. फोटो का हमने फोटोसिंथेसिस में सनलाइट से मीनिंग निकाला था दैट व्हाट वी थॉट इट एस सेम वे सनलाइट द डिकंपोजिशन रिएक्शन व्हेन आर सोर्स ऑफ हीट व्हेन आर सोर्स ऑफ हीट इस योर सनलाइट देन वी कॉल इट एस फोटोलाइटिक रिएक्शन फोटोलाइटिक डिकंपोजिशन रिएक्शन ठीक है और मैंने पहले जैसा कि बता ही दिया था डिकंपोजिशन रिएक्शन आर मोस्टली एंड्रोथर्मिक this is all we discussed already. So photolytic means sunlight is the source of heat here. Bina sunlight ke, we need heat for decomposition reaction and in photolytic sunlight is the source of heat. Now you will see that if it is photo, photolytic, so why only sunlight? Why don't any other like uh, you will say bulb is there, this tube light, this torch light, there are many 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 lights. So why only sunlight? So the answer is that the sunlight have particles that very small practical, uh, very small part packets kind of particles which contains light and heat of sunlight. Okay, so sunlight is basically the only like chlorophyll. Why is chlorophyll is not possible in the sunlight? Because this sunlight obviously it gives out heat. I won't say it wrong, but Sunlight is firstly the natural, the tube light, these all are artificial things. Secondly, the amount of heat, the source of heat, it gives naturally, your tube light, your bulb will not. Okay, so always, 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 photolytic means sunlight only, no other source. Okay, now let me give you an example. Let's take example of AgCl. AgCl on Sunlight. AgCl on sunlight gives me Ag plus Cl2. So, for the balance, we will do Right? So, this will do here, this will do here. Okay? So, AgCl breaks down to give Ag and Cl. AgCl, I hope you know, Ag means silver, Cl means chloride. You can also say it as metal salt, metallic salt, because Ag is a metal hai and Cl is a salt. And this is silver in color. ये बात इम्पोर्टेंट है। AgCl is silver in color, but when it's break down, so Ag gets the color of grey. You can do the experiment as well in your, you know, school libraries if possible. Take a china dish. This a pic also given in your, the figure is given in your NCERT textbook. इसमें AgCl डालो and here have some sunlight. Okay, so you will observe then this Ag and Cl breaks down. Okay, this is solid here. This is solid here. This is like, okay. So, this 
ब्रेक्स डाउन नाउ इसमें तो हमें डीप में जाने की जरूरत नहीं है हाउ इट ब्रेक्स डाउन एंड वॉट इज इट्स बॉन्ड एंड एक्सेट्रा बट द थिंग इज यू शुड रिमेम्बर दैट इट वॉज यूज यूज होता था किसलिए ब्लैक एंड व्हाइट फोटोग्राफी के लिए फोटोग्राफी के लिए ब्लैक एंड व्हाइट जो फोटोग्राफी होती थी उसके लिए हम वी यूज टू यूज एजीसीएल दैट इज सिल्वर क्लोराइड सॉल्यूशन ओके दिस इज नॉट वेरी हार्ड बट द थिंग इज वी नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड सो दैट इन इन एग्जाम्स वी गिवन एग्जाम्पल ओके लेट सपोज लेट मी राइट डाउन हेयर एग्जाम्पल एजी बी आर एजी बी आर which is in solid state let's say take it in and it has sunlight and it breaks down to form ag br and br2 ag br breaks down in sunlight to give ag that is silver and br that is your bromine bromine ki spelling is b r o m i n e is your bromine so ag and br breaks down in the presence of sunlight and or you can say due to sunlight in ag and br and it will just balance it so you have br so you have two br so two okay now tell me in this class a question asked that hai ki tell me which kind of reaction is this so you will see you can see that okay decomposition agar aapke mcq mein hai aur sirf decomposition combination displacement is tarah se hai then you will choose decomposition but in decomposition also if they have given you a wider way like if it is thermal is photolytic is it electrolytic then you have to simply correct the right answer that will be a photolytic i hope this is clear now these are the two very you know basic wale example that are used and the photolytic will mostly it comes also and even if it this example don't come so photolytic agar aapko guess karne bole ki which kind of reaction it is so you will just see that sunlight sunlight means photolytic सनलाइट के वे में है सो इट विल बी फोटो आई थिंक नो डाउट ठीक है नाउ वी हैव डन थर्मल वी हैव डन फोटो केमिकल डिकम्पोजिशन ऑफ फोटो लाइटिक दिम ऑफ फोटो लाइटिक एंड विल बी योर फोटो केमिकल डिकम्पोजिशन रिएक्शन ठीक है नाउ द लास्ट पॉइंट इज इलेक्ट्रोलाइसिस इलेक्ट्रोलाइसिस इज हैविंग द वेरी स्मॉल पार्ट Or contribution in this chapter, not something very hard to understand, but yeah, we need to see it. Also, I am giving this example from many times, like many times. H two on electricity. Now comes the electricity. So sunlight, photolytic was what? That the heat is given in the source of sunlight. Same way in this, in electrolytic, yeah, electrolysis. आप photolytic को photolysis भी बोल सकते हैं. इलेक्ट्रोलाइसिस सोर्स ऑफ हीट इज इक्वल्स टू इलेक्ट्रिसिटी दिस इज द बेसिक की पॉइंट कि इलेक्ट्रोलाइसिस हो रहा है उसमें अगर सोर्स ऑफ हीट है इलेक्ट्रिसिटी सो इट इज इलेक्ट्रोलाइसिस इलेक्ट्रो से भी यू कैन जस्ट गेट अ गैस दैट इट इज इलेक्ट्रिसिटी इज द सोर्स ऑफ हीट हेयर आई होप दिस इज क्लियर ओके So H two when breaks down because of electricity it gives you H two plus O two and if you just balance it out, so here two and here two. So this is the balance equation. What we are doing here is H two here my pass water taken in the beaker and we pass some electricity to it and it gives us H two and O two. Is clearly I have the activity one point seven that I would like you to check in your NCERT books now. इसमें क्या होगा लेट्स टेक अ बीकर ठीक है दिस इज अ बीकर फिल्ड विद एच टू ओ इसके अंदर क्या है एच टू ओ है नाउ लेट मी जस्ट राइट इट ओवर हेयर बिकॉज हेयर तो हमें कुछ फिगर ड्रॉ करनी होगी फॉर बेटर अंडरस्टैंडिंग सो लेट्स सेम इज दैट एच टू ओ दैट इज इन लिक्विड स्टेट नाउ वी हैव टू चार्ज रॉड्स टू charge rods i am not going into very deep right now here we will discuss and we have already discussed in our previous classes as well so one is your cathode one is your anode ek cathode hai ek anode hai theek hai now we pass electricity to this this electricity is passed through this rods now what happen is this liquid 
changes into that is in liquid form changes into hydrogen and oxygen that is in gases so bubble we may you will see that here as cathode you will absorb o2 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 okay and near anode near anode you will absorb h2 that is your hydrogen okay so this is what you will absorb samajh aaye we have a beaker we put some water in it that is in liquid state obviously we pass electricity to it as electricity is a source of heat in this decomposition reaction that is electrolysis it gives us to form h2 and o2 in bubbles form or you can see gases form you will see cathode ke paas you will absorb oxygen and anode will have hydrogen gas theek hai now what will happen is near cathode you know that o2 is very important for burning <coughs> sorry so when you put out this test tube and near this you will pop up some uh, candle or uh, lighter so it will burn with a pop sound okay pop 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 aise sound aayega so this is the decomposition of your water that is also known as electrolysis okay now one more thing i want to tell you is that which one is negative terminal and which one is positive one so your cathode cathode is your positive one anode is your negative one always remember this so positive ke paas jayega oxygen and negative will have hydrogen kitna clear hai so a question that can come related to this is why hydrogen when well, no, you will observe that jab ye gas banta hai so the question will be given like why hydrogen gas is double of oxygen gas okay they will ask you that during electrolysis during the decomposition of water why hydrogen is double of oxygen so the simple and the simplest answer is i'm drawing this diagram if you want to look it carefully so please do so the simple is at class 9 class 9 is obviously not the answer but you will get your answer from class 9 textbooks only so i hope you remember law of constant law of constant proportion law of constant proportion says that like h2o chahe kitne bhi quantity mein even if it's 5 liter 10 liter 20 liter 0 liter uh, 1 ml 2 ml whatever the quantity is it will always has constant proportion means their ratio will always be the same like h is to o equals to 2 is to 1 so this is will be your ratio whether it is your 2 liter whether it's your 200 ml whether it's 20 ml or 2000 liter jo bhi quantity ho is respective of quantity this will be your constant proportion it will always be constant like if it's 2 is to 1 so it will be your 2 is to 1 only even if you will check here after balancing so hydrogen here is 4 and oxygen here is 2 2 1 ya 2 2 ya it again coming 2 is to 1 now let's say if it's like 8 16 if it's 16 hydrogen and 8 oxygen in water so it will have the constant proportion just remember that water always have constant proportion not only water but all the compounds all the compounds have a constant proportion okay which can't be changed so therefore 2 is to 1 is there constantly constant proportion so therefore they will also be always be 2 is to 1 that is the double of oxygen therefore you can write h2 will be double of o2 due to and you can just write law of constant proportion you don't even need to just specify the whole sentence that this is what law of cons- constant proportion states you just need to answer that okay this is the ratio you have to show the ratio you have to tell the law and be a final answer i hope this is clear and with this we are done with decomposition reaction now we'll talk about displacement reaction that is the last type of reaction in this chapter now we'll talk about displacement reaction displacement reaction is basically of two types one is displacement and second is double displacement reaction so before we talk about displacement reaction i want to show you this i hope it's visible 
So, how to remember the activity series? First, take a screenshot of it and write it down wherever you want to. This is a very simple way of uh, remembering most of the, the activity series. Please stop calling me. Okay, let's Debra. It's still try learning how copper shape gold. So, potassium, sodium, calcium, magnesium, ammonium, carbon, zinc, iron, tin, lead, hydrogen, copper, silver, and gold. So, the upper one are most reactive and the lower one are the least reactive. Okay, most to least. To take a screenshot. Okay, now let's talk about it. In this type of reaction, two, sorry, uh, uh, just let me, one element displaces, displaces another element, let me write it down in caps only, one element displaces another element due to its reactivity. Okay? Yeah, I have said that the reactivity series of one element displaces another element due to its reactivity. The more, more reactive one will displace the less reactive one. Okay, like let's take an example of ZN plus H2SO4. So, if you will just notice, if you have taken a screenshot, just take a look at it. Let me show you up here only. Mm, yeah. So, zinc is more reactive than hydrogen. So, what will happen now? This zinc, this zinc will displace hydrogen from H2SO4. You have heard me right. This zinc will displace H2 from H2SO4 because of its reactivity. Reactivity is the game changer here. Do it more reactive, that is more stronger. And thus, the less reactive one will get displaced by the more reactive one. So now it will form Zn SO4 plus H2. This doesn't look nice too. Let me write it down. Okay. So Zn plus H2 SO4 displacement reaction occurs here because this is more reactive than H2, that is your hydrogen. And thus, it forms Zn SO4 plus H2. Okay, now let's take a look at one more thing. If it's Zn SO4 plus H2, then it will form Zn SO4 plus H2. Zn SO4 plus H2. Now tell me what will happen. Let me give you time to think. The question is Zn SO4 plus H2. This is your reaction. The reactant is here. Now tell me what will be your product. What it will form. I hope you have given the answer. If you did, so comment me below. No cheating. So the answer is ZnSO4 plus H2 will remain the same. It will remain the same. Why? Because can this displace this? No, it won't. Then how? What we do? There can't be any reaction occur now. We have no option. No reaction will Okay? So this is one example, just write down this example, I am giving you a few more examples. Now, in the same way, let us take, yeah, um, you can take FeSO4 plus, no, let's not take a, this, let's take Cu, SO4 by Fe, okay? Cu SO4, that is your copper sulfate. Remember this. One more thing. This is your sulfate. Maha sulfate, and you will get confused what it takes. SO4 So no, this is sulfate SO4. In the same way, there is one more thing like sulfide. A sulfide maybe we get confused that Sulfide sulfate just a A and a I. It's well actually not just a A and a I, but for us while writing down we get confused that okay whether it's SO4 or SO3 or SO2. We generally get confused. So sulfide is nothing but sulfur trioxide. SO3 is your sulfur trioxide. This is sulfide. SO4 is sulfate. Okay? And sulfur oxide 
या डार्क साइड भी बोलते हैं दैट इज एसो टू तो प्लीज बी फोकस बिकॉज इन द क्वेश्चन जस्ट लाइक कॉपर सल्फेट रियक्स विद आयरन नाउ गिव अस यू नो बैलेंस्ड इक्वेशन सो फर्स्टली यू शुड नो वॉट सल्फेट इज If you will write sulfide here, so you are all equation will be wrong. No marks will be given because you have written the reactant. जो आपको information दी है, you are writing that only wrong. So product is a long way to go. And if you are writing here wrong, so your balancing will automatically will be wrong. Okay. So हमेशा ध्यान रखना है, we have to write it correctly. वरना एक ये four or three कहने के लिए just it's four and three. But for chemistry, for any work, it has a big change in it. Let's get back to displacement reaction. So see you. I suppose copper sulfate reacts with iron. Iron will more reactive. Iron mean more reactive. It will give us FeSO4 plus Cu. Now here comes your homework. Homework is get and find it out the color of copper sulfate and color of Iron sulfate. Because in the next video, I am going to start with this only. This will be going to be our next topic after types of reactions. So this is a homework. I let's see who have done it. So ये समझ आ गया? Iron displaces copper here to form iron sulfate and copper. Copper here is reddish brown in color. ये तो clear होगा. Now इसी में ये SO4 के साथ you can do all your games, all your examples. Just playing with the XO4, you can frame your examples. Like ZN plus Cu, XO4 will also give you ZN XO4 plus Cu. And yeah, then kills in your solid. This is your aqueous. This is mostly in your aqueous state only. Then this is in your aqueous and this is in your solid state. XO4 साथ आ गया, so you can just say that okay, it will be aqueous. वैसे ही HCl का भी होता है. Okay, so this is your example. One more and one last example of displacement reaction I'm going to give in this video. And if you remember for your more examples of displacement reaction, or you can find it out, just comment in the comments below. Now lead, that is solid. And we have CuCl2 in aqua state. This is what? Copper chloride. And this gives us what? Will there be any change? If yes, why? If not, why? So the answer is that this lead is more reactive. It's more reactive than Cu. Therefore, we'll get PbCl. PbCl ही रहेगा. PbCl two नहीं होगा. एक मिनट. Let me just check it out. PbCl. Okay. So change होगा. PbCl two बनेगा plus Cu. This is will be a solid state. This is will also again will be an aqueous state. Okay? So lead reacted with copper chloride that is in aqueous state to form lead chloride, aqueous state and copper. That is in your solid state. So this is the again example of displacement reaction. Now we'll talk about double displacement reaction. Now double displacement reaction is basically what? हमें रिएक्टिविटी सीरीज नहीं चाहिए इसके लिए। We don't need रिएक्टिविटी सीरीज की तो कोई जरूरत ही नहीं है। We don't need this. First thing. Second thing is you need to know the knowledge of ions. Ions की नॉलेज होनी very important है, because in double displacement reaction, double displacement reaction is what? Any guesses? Double displacement is basically the exchange of atoms. A tarah ke ions ke. Like C will displace with C, A will displace with A. Now you will see say what is C, what is A. So I just told you positive ion jo hai, wo positive ion ko exchange ho ga. Negative ion jo hai, wo negative ion se exchange ho ga. For example, agar aapko is reaction diya hai, so you will have to know that which one is the positive have which one is having positive ion, which one is having negative ion. Then only you can do the double displacement reaction. So first let us talk about the ions and then we'll get back to double displacement reaction. Okay? 